Hello everyone, welcome to Natus and Attitude World. In this video, I am going to explain the rules of crypt arithmetic problems. This is a very simple concept, very small concept, but a big logic. Here's some example. Uh, suppose send plus more is equal to money. Send plus more is equal to money. What we require? Which alphabet is replaces each and every letter? That is the important. That is the concept of crypt arithmetic problems. These problems are basically in Infosys and e litmus exams. Around three questions, at least three questions on each and every example. Example either Infosys or e litmus. Rule 1. Each alphabet takes only one number from 0 to 9. Example, suppose A is equal to 5. A is equal to 5. And what about the B? B is any number in between 0 to 9 except 5. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Suppose A is equal to 5. B is equal to 0. What about C? Any number from 1 to 9 or 0 to 9 except 0 and 5. Why? Because already A allocated with 5 and B allocated with 0. And suppose C is equal to 4 and what is the D? B is in D is any number from 0 to 9 except 0, 5 and 4. Suppose D is equal to 8 and what is the value of E? E is, is equal to any number from 0 to 9 except these 4 values. Let us take this is equal to 9 etc. That means each and every alphabet takes only one number that is unique value. Rule 2. Carry over can be max 1 when we will add 2 numbers, maximum 2 when we add 3 numbers, maximum 3 when we will add 4 numbers. What is the meaning of this one? Uh, suppose A, B, C. This is one number. If you will add D, E, F. This is one number and this is the second number, three digit number. What about the digit? That is irrespective of number of digits. Here, suppose if you want to carry, that means the addition of these two numbers. And what about this one? Here the carry is either 0 or 1. Example, suppose C is equal to 2 and F is equal to 4. And what is the sum of these two? That is equal to 2 plus 4. And what is the value? That equals 6. And what about the carry here? In this carry, that is 0. Suppose, example, C is equal to 5 and F is equal to 6. Then what happened? 5 plus 6, that is equal to 11. Here we will write down 1. And what about here? 1 is carry forward to the uh, tens digit. Right? And what happened? If you suppose, if you take 6 and 7, carry forward is 1. 8 and 9, carry forward is 1. And suppose C is equal to 9 and F is also equal to 9. Uh, actually, this is not possible. Why? Because each and every letter takes individual value. Suppose if you add 9 and 9, then what happened? The sum of these two, that is equal to 18. 8 is replaced here. And what about 1? 1 carry forward to uh, <coughs> tens place or not. So, if you will add two numbers, what is the carry forward? Either 0 or 1. Carry is either 0 or 1. Right? Maximum 1. And come to the second one. If you will add three numbers. If you will add three numbers, let us take 2, 2, 2. What is the sum? That is equal to 6. There is no carry. So, what is the carry? That is equal to 0. Suppose 4, 5, 6 and what is the sum? That is equal to 15. Now you will write down here 5 and what about the 1? 1 carry to uh, tens place or not. And suppose if you will take 9, 9, 9. What is the sum? That is equal to 27. You will write down in the unit place 7 and what is the carry forward? That is equal to 2 or not. Now suppose if you will take 3 numbers then what is the carry forward? Either 0 or 1 or 2. Any one of these three numbers. That means 
maximum carry that is equal to 2 when you will add 3 numbers. When you will add 2 numbers then the carry forward maximum 1 that means either 0 or 1 and suppose 3 numbers 0, 1 or 2. Suppose 4 numbers that is 0, 1, 2, 3. Why? Because let us take an example of 4 numbers uh, 9, 9, 9, 9. What is the sum? That is equal to 36. So, 6 is in the unit place and what is the carry? Carry 3 is in the tens place goes to tens place honor. So, this is the second uh, rule. Carry or can be maximum 1 when you will add 2 numbers. Maximum 2 when you will add 3 numbers. Maximum 3 when you will add 4 numbers. This is the rule 2. Rule 3. Sum of two same numbers must be an even number. But on one condition, if these two numbers must be at unit place. Now, let us see. Example, A, B, C, D, E, C. Suppose these two numbers, unit place, these two numbers are same. And what is the sum? Here, that sum must be even number. Why? Because suppose C is equal to 2, then what happened? Here, 2 plus 2, that is equal to 4. Suppose C is equal to 3, then what happened? 3 plus 3, that is equal to 6. Here, sum of two even numbers is equal to even number and sum of two odd numbers is also equal to even number. Sum of two same numbers must be an even number when these two numbers must be at unit place only. Right? Now, another condition. Suppose A, C, B, D, C, E is there. Now, what happened? Here, this number may be even number or odd number. Why? Because suppose some of these two numbers is less than 10. Some of these two numbers is less than 10. Then there is no carry forward here. Then what happened? Some of these two numbers must be even number. Suppose some of these two numbers more than 10, then what happened? One carry forward here, then this number becomes to an odd number. Let us take an example. Uh, suppose B is equal to 2, E is equal to 4, and C is equal to 9. Then what happened? A, 9, B equal to 2, D, 9, E equal to 4. What is the sum? 2 plus 2, that is, sorry, 2 plus 4, that is equal to 6. Now, what is the condition here? Same number. If you will add the same numbers, here 9 plus 9, that is equal to 18. 8 is, 8 is here and 1 is carried forward to 100's place. Then this is the even number. Right? This is the one condition. Suppose the condition is like this. Uh, B is equal to 7. E is equal to 8 and C is equal to 9. Then what are the numbers? A, 9, 7 and D, 9 and what is the E? That is equal to 8 or not. Now if you add sum of these two, 7 plus 8 that is equal to 15. Now the unit place occupied 5 and what about the 1? 1 carry forward here or not. Now what is the sum? 1 plus 9, 10, 10 plus 9 that is equal to 19. So this place is occupied by odd number. Here, this condition is applicable when sum of two numbers must be an even number if the, that number is in the unit place. And suppose the other than unit place, either tens place or hundred place, whatever it is, that number may be an even number or odd number. Why? Because if carry forward is not exist, then that number must be an even number. Suppose carry forward is exist, then that number becomes to an odd number. That is the rule 3. Rule 4. If two numbers are A and B, the sum of A and B is A, then the value of B must be 0 if A and B are unit digits. That is the first case. And the second case, the value of B may be 0 or 9 if A and B are other than unit digits. Let us see what happened. Here, suppose sum of A and B, A plus B 
is equal to a when it will be happen when b is equal to 0 or not example let us take a is equal to 4 and what about b suppose b is other than 0 then what is the sum a plus b is equal to 4 clearly mentioned why right? because if two numbers are a and b the sum of a and b is a and what about b b must be equal to 0 or not when one condition is there what is that condition if a and b are unit digits if suppose a and b are other than unit digits then what happened uh, example c a d and e b f suppose uh, like this suppose if you want to add a and b and this number is equal to a when this will happen here b is equal to 0 that is absolutely correct right now let us see suppose d is equal to 8 and f is equal to 6 d is equal to 8 and f is equal to 6 then what happened here c a 8 and e b 6 and what is the b suppose if you take this case b is equal to 0 so uh, instead of b if you will take 0 then what is the value of value here 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 so this value is equal to 4 and 1 carry forward to here or not and what is the sum 1 plus a plus b is equal to a suppose b is equal to 0 then 1 plus a plus 0 is not equal to a or not and this is a plus 1 suppose in this case instead of 0 9 is there instead of 0 9 is there example 1 plus 9 10 10 plus a that is equal to a and 1 carry forward here that means sum of two numbers example a and b is equal to a b must be equal to 0 when the unit digits are there and suppose other than unit digits and this is the condition either b is equal to either 0 or 9 that is very very important this is the rule 4 next rule 5 addition of two numbers with n digit n number of digits either two digit three digit four digit whatever it is if the result is n plus one digits then the leftmost digit must be one example uh, suppose a b c add to d e f if the sum is equal to g h i j and what is the value of g g must be equal to one why because already we discussed in the previous rules and what is the maximum number maximum possibility that is 9 or not so 9 plus 9 that is equal to 18 so suppose this place is occupied by 8 and 1 carry forward to here or not so that is this value right and suppose already carry forward here from this tens place to hundreds place 1 carry forward is there and a is equal to 9 and d is equal to 9 then what is the sum 9 plus 9 that is equal to 18 plus 1 19 then h is equal to 9 and 1 carry forward to here so if two numbers are added with the n digits the result must be n plus 1 digits that is equal to here three digit number and here four digit number so the left to most digit must be equal to 1 suppose addition of three digits uh, three numbers that is the different way right but you must understood these five rules and it is very easy to identify the answers identify the codes in crypto arithmetic it's very simple after completion of addition then only we go to the multiplication problems my dear students stay tuned in entire crypto arithmetic videos series around 20 models are there 20 to 25 models i will explain each and every question in detail all of you uh, if you are not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel then you will get the more updates from my channel thank you one and all